Hey guys, welcome to Causeway Kids. This is the last week in this month, and what a month it's been. We've been learning so much about discovering who God has made us, individuals, and the God's in, made in God's image. Yeah, so cool. individuality, it's discovering wild. who you are meant to be so that you can make a difference. I wonder if the kids remember that, individuality. Big word, awesome. Pretty well sure they do. And the really good news is that you don't have to stop at the end of this month. You can continue to discover all the great ways that God can use you to make a difference. That's right. In fact, this month we've had lots of games with food. Did you notice that? Yeah. I food. like food. Yep. Ice cream, lollies, all sorts of great things like that. Yeah, like that time that we made the ice cream sundae. Oh, that, that was difficult. That was. You should don't try that at home. Yeah. But anyway, that was fun. Uh, talking about having fun, do you remember we said, uh, can you guys guess Pastor Collins? favorite ice cream, his favorite sauce, and his favorite lollies. How did they get on with that? Actually pretty well. Oh. And I've just got this graph in oh. off the press, just oh, for the memes. And so the blue shows the favorite ice cream, yep. and the brown shows the favorite sauce, and the purple shows favorite lolly. They all look nice to me, all those flavors, I'll be into that. Yeah. How did they so, get on? But how did they really get That's That looks like How it. did they get on? Well, it wasn't actually too bad. Um, you guessed his favorite ice cream. It was... Salted caramel. Yeah, yes. salted caramel. Yum. There was a bit of a tie happening between caramel sauce and chocolate sauce, oh, but it was... I can understand that. Caramel sauce. Yes, it was caramel, caramel sauce. sauce all the way. <laughs> and then heaps of choices for the lollies. And, you know, Pastor Colin really threw you off the other day by putting pixie caramels he on like Instagram. Pixie caramels. He does, but apparently it's not his favorite. His milkshakes. favorite is milkshakes, milkshakes, Macintoshes, pixie caramels. If you bribe him with those things, you can't go wrong. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> hey, but, you know, for reminiscing, let's have one more ice cream. So oh, yes, delicious. please. Yes, please. More ice cream. Let's go and do that. So seeing we're talking about teamwork, yep. let's do it together as a team. Okay, let's do that. Uh, one of us can be the eyes, one yep. of us can be the hands. Yep. So um, how should we decide? Uh, paper, scissors, rock. Okay, paper, scissors, rock, shoot. Here we go. Paper, paper scissors, scissors rock. rock, shoot. Oh, I'm the rock, man. I don't know. Uh, so I guess Malcolm gets to be the eyes. Okay, here are the rules. Um, the hands, whatever they touch, has to go into the ice cream sundae. You got it? Okay, yep. Here we go. Oh. Okay, right hand straight down. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Put a little on. Okay, left hand. Yep, yeah, that's gonna be nice. Excellent. Just lift the lid. Just a little bit. A little bit closer to me. Closer. Yep. 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 Nice. Sweet. It goes nicely with lamb, that one. Oh, no. Okay. It's a good song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, left hand straight down. That's it. Grab that one. Left hand again. Um, a little bit further on. Yeah, that one. Oh, that was chocolate. Yeah. Okay, we need a nice sauce. Okay, right hand. Straight down now. That's it. You, you missed my shirt. You're gonna be eating this, right? Okay, right hand, further forward, right hand, further forward. And down. Yep, that one. Okay, it's gonna be good one, I promise. One more. Left hand straight down. There's mint sauce. There's mint sauce. What do I do? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see what we've done. Yeah, but we haven't got the Tabasco sauce in there yet. You oh, missed it. Thank Okay, let's see what we've done. What a big reveal! Yeah! Ooh, my head. Oh. So you got most of it on the table, but you did get... Oh. Yeah, you did get a little bit in the bowl. Oh yeah, that's for Arthur. 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 Okay, well, we have one more bowl. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yep, it's gonna be good. Let's eat it. Oh. Okay. Three, Cheers. Two, one. Mmm. Yeah, tomato sauce and ice cream? Yeah. Not so much. Tomato sauce is quite good, actually. Tomato sauce goes with anything, really. Surprisingly, I don't believe I'm saying this, but the tomato sauce is not too bad. 
chili day. Oh, there. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hello again everyone, my name is Graham, and as you can see, I kind of like candy a little bit. <laughs> I think when you know what kind of candy someone likes, it says a lot about their individuality. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Because we're all different, right? We look different, we act different, we're gifted at different things. Like maybe your gift is that you're really smart. Or maybe you're a gifted performer. Someday you're going to be a star. Or what if your gift is sports? Hmm. Of all these gifts here, which one do you think will make the greatest difference in the world? Clearly it's the smarties, right? I mean, they get the best grades in school, they invent things and solve complicated problems for people. They could literally change the world with their gift. Ooh, but hold on a second. These stars entertain us. They make us laugh and cry and feel all kinds of emotions. We learn things from the songs they sing and the stories they tell. Things a smarty would never be able to teach us. Surely the stars make the greatest differences. Ooh, then again, when I'm watching sports, I, I really gets my blood pumping. And playing sports helps us to grow stronger and stay healthy. Without our health, it'd be hard to enjoy anything. People with a gift for sports can really make a difference. Hmm, this is a tough one. I can't decide which gift will make the greater difference. 
Maybe there's another gift I'm not thinking of. And maybe, as we'll learn in today's story, these gifts work better together. I know what to do. I'll see you in a bit. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 12 through 27. The Apostle Paul traveled far and wide, spreading the good news about Jesus wherever he went. Several years after starting a church in Corinth, Paul got the word that, well, things there weren't going so great. I need to write them a letter. Quill, please. My brothers and sisters, I have been told you are arguing with one another. Paul especially wanted the new believers to understand that God had given each of them unique gifts, and no one's gift was more important than anybody else's. There are different kinds of gifts, but they are all given to believers by the same Spirit. There are different ways to serve, but they all come from the same Lord. There are different ways the Spirit works, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all people. Now, just like the believers in Corinth, each of you has also been given special gifts. God designed every human being uniquely for a special purpose. Each of you are good at different things. Certain skills and talents come more easily to you. Mm-hmm. But once you decide to follow Jesus, you have the power of God's spirit at work in you. So your gifts are supercharged. <laughs> now, you're not just trying to do it all on your own. God is at work in and through your gifts. Let's see what some of those gifts might look like. Ah, maybe your eyes are great at seeing patterns and finding amazing ways to organize things. Maybe you've got a stellar voice and you can encourage the people around you with your singing. Well, it's possible God's given you a gift for, uh, hmm, let's find out. Ooh, baking. You can bring joy to the people in your life with tasty cookies or bread, or uh, let's see, quarter cup, third cup, half a cup. Mm-hmm, fractions might be your thing. Maybe math comes really easily to you and you can take time to help kids you know who struggle with numbers, like me. <laughs> oh, here's another. You might have some serious skills on the basketball court. That gives you an awesome chance to show courage and endurance in tough practices and kindness to everyone. Yes, even kids on the other team. Let's take a look at one more gift. What could it be? Oh. Earbuds. Did you know that listening can be an amazing gift? Yeah. So many people are stressed out and hurting, and what they need most is just a friend to let them talk and really hear them out. These are only a few of the unique individual gifts that God has given. Yours might be entirely different. But here's the awesome thing. The gifts that God has given, you can open and use anytime, and you can use them to help the people around you too. It's, it's like you both get a gift. Now you might be saying, huh, I wish I was really good at soccer instead of drawing, or just listening to someone is not as cool as singing a solo on stage. But your gifts are just as important as the gifts God has given to everybody else. Listen to what Paul says. There is one body, but as many parts, it is the same with Christ. We are all baptized by one Holy Spirit, and so we are formed into one body. Then, Paul sets up some pretty amazing word pictures. Take a look. Suppose the foot says, I am not a hand, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. And suppose the ear says, I'm not an eye, so I don't belong to the body. By saying this, it cannot stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, how could it hear? 
If the whole body were an ear, how could it smell? God has placed each part in the body just as he wanted it to be. If all the parts were the same, how could there be a body? As it is, there are many parts, but there is only one body. The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. In fact, it is just the opposite. The parts of the body that seem to be weaker are the ones we can't do without. God has put together all the parts of the body. In that way, the parts of the body will take care of one another. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part shares in its joy. You are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of it. God has given you a unique gift. No one else can play your part in the work God is doing in this world. And when you choose to follow God and let him work through your gift together with others, you can make a big difference in the world around you. You've probably figured this out already, but there are way more than three different kinds of gifts. You might be able to sew or create things on a computer. You could be good at balancing things on your head. And there are other things you might not think of as gifts. You might be a good listener or a good friend. You could be super patient or a peacemaker. And the truth is, all gifts, no matter how big or small they appear, can make a great difference in the world. But there's a way they can be even greater. When you believe that Jesus is who he says he is, then you're a part of something bigger than just yourself. The Apostle Paul wrote, you are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of it. That means it takes all of us working together with all of our many different gifts to truly point people the way to Jesus and to show people what Jesus is like. When we use our gifts together, we can make a greater difference than we can using our gifts alone. So just imagine, if you use your gift, and then you find someone with a different gift to work with, and then both of you find someone else. You could all work together and you can accomplish things none of you could have imagined. You should definitely use the gifts you've been given to make a difference. But here's the one thing to remember. We can use our gifts together to make a greater difference. We can literally change the world. Mm. That is so oh, good. Kind of lumpy though. Yeah, I'm gonna stop drinking that now. <laughs> I'll see you next time. That was good. So what does it mean to become part of the body? What does it mean? Well, I guess we all have different gifts. Oh, yeah. We're all so different. You're different from me. Yeah. I'm different from you. And we use all those gifts together to make a difference. Like the body with all the different parts, the legs and the arms, it's all coming together, I see. And they don't have to wait till they're older to do that too, do they? No, you can make a difference right now, whatever right now. age you are. Yeah, but we've got to do it with Christ's help. You can't do it by yourself. In fact, if you have a look here, arrow. Now, if the arrow's pointing at myself, I can make a little difference, but it's hard work. But it's not going to make a big difference. Yeah, and all the glory usually goes to us. People see us doing great things and we go, well, you're so great. Which you are, but... It doesn't make a big difference. Look what happens. Just a simple change, a simple change of perspective. And all of a sudden, all the glory goes where it should be to Jesus. We have Jesus' help, we have His power, yep. and the glory goes to Him, and more people get to know Him and how much He really loves them. We're working together as a body yep. with all the gifts that we've been looking at this month. It's all coming together now, isn't it? It does. As a body. Then people get to know the amazing plan and purpose that He has for their life. Yeah. We've got some amazing kids in Kids Church, haven't we? We do. And you guys. God has a plan and a purpose for you and you have gifts and he's given you those gifts specifically and your parents this week, they sent me heaps of texts and I got so excited every time I received a text because everyone was full of the gifts that you have. 
Let's take a look. We filled up a whole person. You know, making a difference by yourself is really hard work. But when you've got the Holy Spirit and you, you know who Jesus is and what he's done for you, and we're working together using our gifts. All these that, gifts. That's when you can make a difference. Yeah, and you can do it anywhere. At that's home. Right. At the beach. At school. Shopping. On Zoom. On the telephone. On the computer. <laughs> anywhere. Anytime. You go. You can make a difference. Yep. And we've learned a lot about this month. Yep. Don't forget because you are someone that God wants to use to make a difference to other people's lives. He does. And together we can make a difference. That's what it's all about. Using your gifts. So don't be discouraged. Use your gifts yep. and go make a difference. Yep. Do that. See you yeah. later. Like you, no, nothing like you. A diamond in the 